this video shows an axisymmetrical vertical cross-section of a rising pipe or a casing of a well pumping a hot fluid or gas from greater depth. The casing passes a shallow aquifer on its way to ground surface. The top shows the temperatures between 10 and 85 degrees centigrade and the lower part shows the distribution of some chemical in the aquifer that will be redistributed by convection caused by the hot well casing. Rising pipes of wells, whether oil wells, gas wells, geothermal wells or any other wells that pump fluids or gases from several kilometers deep to the surface are hot, 70 to 100 degrees centigrade. This is due to the high temperatures prevailing at those depths. At shallower depths, these pipes or casings, as they are called, pass through aquifers that may be supplying drinking water. A hot casing unavoidably heats up the groundwater adjacent to it, making it less viscous and also lighter by thermal expansion. This lighter groundwater starts flowing upward along the pipe, a process called convection. This convection pushes groundwater from lower regions in the aquifer upward and spreads it out near the top. Chemicals like salinity and methane are generally present in higher concentrations in the lower parts of aquifers. They will thus suddenly appear near the top, where they may affect shallow drinking water wells. Methane may come out of solution and form bubbles. This is due to the large pressure drop the water undergoes when flowing upward. These bubbles reduce the fluid density even further, which may intensify the convection flow. The reduced viscosity of the heated groundwater also intensifies the convection. These mechanisms are general and essentially unavoidable. Therefore, one should not wonder to see pure methane escaping from drinking water taps connected to groundwater wells, as was recently shown in a 2011 documentary Gasland. This methane has nothing to do with leakage of shale gas wells. It is a mere consequence of the unavoidable convection caused by a hot well casing. The problem must be expected to become ubiquitous when hundreds of thousands of shale gas wells are going to be installed in many states and countries in the coming decades. The curved lines in the figures are streamlines. They show the momentary flow in the aquifer. The amount of water between each pair of streamlines is given as deep sigh in the figure heading. The streamlines indicate an intense upward flow near the well and from the well outwards along the top of the aquifer. This is compensated in turn by downward flow at distance and flow towards the well in the bottom region of the aquifer. As a final note, the modeling was done using seawood made available by the United States Geological Survey. The modeling environment MF Lab was used. This is available for free on code.google.com slash p slash mflab.